to this quick video um, filming on the LG 360 camera. I thought I'd do is do test it out with some outside and inside videos. It's raining at the moment, um, just to see what the lighting setting and frame rate is like. Um, so yeah, that's a keyless entry into the house. Shove down my entry card, kick off my shoes, and we'll have a quick tour around. It's going to be quite interesting. Some of the rooms are dark, some of the rooms are light, some of them are brightly decorated, and some of them are, oh, like this one, a little bit retro. Um, as you can see from the floor, um, we're in the middle of changing the carpet. This room is about to be brightened up uh, in the next few weeks, hopefully, or by the at least by the end of, uh, by the end of May, we'll have this room nice and bright with a more up-to-date, oh, I wish I didn't look into that light bulb, a more up-to-date light into the left-hand room. We've got more up-to-date, of a little bit of retro in here. Uh, this is the dining room. You can see outside that is some of the neighbors' houses. Maybe you can see that, or maybe because of the image, it will be like overly exposed, whited and whited out. Nice bit of furniture in here. I'm not gonna to talk too much about the house because if you've got any questions about anything you see, you can drop them in the comments and I'm more than happy to get back to you. You might see, you know, I've got some, this is the living room. Um, this is uh, very, very much to my taste. A lot of black um, leather, well, flowers not so much me, but got my VR box headset there. 22 pounds off eBay, by the way, and I don't think, I mean, I've not tried a Samsung or LG headset, but I don't think they're going to be worth it when you consider that that is £20 um, and it works. I just paired it up with a Bluetooth mouse and it works amazingly. Got my Xbox down there um, as well. Into this room, we got a kitchen, which, you know, kitchen is a kitchen. Well, um, you can see through the window and through to the door there. You can see the garden. Um, yeah, not a lot to talk about there. We'll have a look in the garden in a minute. Here we have the downstairs toilet and shower room. Uh, one of the lights is broken, so it's a little bit darker in there. And the other lights point directly at the camera. So we'll see how the camera lenses deal with that. There's also, I'm not very steady holding this, so we'll see how the camera deals with a little bit of shake and if it makes any of you sick, putting it into like cardboard mode or something like that. If you can't follow it, if I'm spinning around too much, I don't know, this is like the first time I've properly used this. So we'll find out. Here's the upstairs bathroom. I got my uh, cool Korean toilet seat that washes and dries your bum for you. So that's quite funky. Um, my nice bath. Uh, in here we have the bedroom um, on cribs. They say this is where the magic happens. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Why not? Why not? Up here, if I go towards the window again, this is a nice bright test for the thing again. Can it get me in the dark and the garden in the... I want to say sunlight, but it's not. Daylight, I guess I could call it. Um, right, so that was that. I'm going to move a bit quicker to see how it deals with some speed changes in light. I'll go straight across and we're in the little guest room. We're currently, little guest room. Yeah, cool, we'll call it that. It's kind of a study and uh, we're currently using it as a kind of mini gym, yoga, aerobics area. And then just before, in between the bedroom and that room, you got the room that I've been allowed to design myself. Most of the house is uh, my wife's control. She, I've, I've said to her, she can do whatever she likes. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit darker in here. I like it a little bit more dark. It's a little bit more retro. You'll be able to see the curtains there where they're not everybody's taste. Neither is the uh, four poster bed and the helmet, skull, the steampunk kind of lamp over there. Some Hold that still for a second, see if that focuses. That's some um, cool, like, gravity-fed, heat-fed coffee machines. And then down there, my drone, which if you see any of my other videos, you may see some drone footage. 
some drone footage that I won't get arrested for because I haven't broken any laws going over public places or built up crowded areas and things like that. Again, into the news at the moment, going downstairs back through the lights in the dark. Yeah, let's, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully this is still recording. I can see the little light flashing. Let me just stick on my boots, motorcycle boots. Um, I ride a motorcycle, I don't drive. Just, you know what, just for my own interest. See what happens if I go into this cupboard. And pow. That's a rubbish light. But you get the gist. You, if you might be able to see some helmets in there, you'll see a, a jacket, some gloves with some metal knuckles and bags. Nothing really exciting. I don't even know why I showed you that. Down under there, I've got a cowboy hat and a salt gun for killing bugs that shouldn't be allowed in my house or shouldn't I don't want in my house right quick view into the garden it is raining as you may have seen earlier in the video so I have my umbrella and there we go I've got a fire pit table uh, I've got going looking up right now on the video it's going to be boring you'll just see umbrella canvas there's my garage in front of me there behind me You'll see my pond. I'm gonna spin that round and you may just about see the fish moving around if I can hold it still long enough. And there's the back view of my house, which I don't know why I'm spinning around. You could have seen that if you just spun the screen round and behind me over there to the right, you can see a couple of sheds. That's, that's about that really. Um, this is, like I said, this is a test of the camera more than a view around my house. I just thought this is uh, the best way on a rainy day to figure out how the camera deals with different lighting conditions and me moving around and uh, the fact that it's rainy. I don't know whether that's going to affect the image at all. I may have got some splashes on the lens. Hopefully not. And uh, yeah, I'm getting bored, so I'm sure you are. There we go. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching.